Oh yeah, we're back with another review. Deuces Jack at Vaping Insider. I got the Hugs Vape Magician Sub Ohm Tank. It's the Harry Houdini of tanks. 24 millimeter sub ohm tank, 3 ml mode, 5 ml mode, two mesh coils included. You get a dual mesh that's 0.15 ohms, good for 65 to 95 watts, and you also get a triple mesh. Yeah, that's right, triple mesh coil, 0.13 ohms, good for 85 to 115 watts. Let's not waste any time. Let's cut down low. I'm going to go over everything. We're going to juice one of the coils up. We're going to come back on top. We're going to vape on it, talk about it, cons, pros, and then we're out of here. I'm going to see you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today, we're going to be going over the Hugs Vape Magician Sub Ohm Tank. It's like the Harry Houdini of tanks. Check it out. All right. See, I got the stainless steel one. Scratch and check over there. On the back of the box, tells you what's included in the box. You get a triple 0.13 ohm mesh coil and a dual mesh coil at 0.15 ohms. Let's open this thing up. Let's see what we got here. Check it out. Oh, I like it already. We got a bubble glass. There is your magician tank. Kind of neat what it's got going on. Looks like a little bullet, right, with that valerian type drip tip. We're going to put that on deck for a second. Here is your spare bubble glass. We'll be installing that pronto. Here is your spare coil. It's a dual mesh coil. Let's pop it out. See what we got here. This is the 0.15 ohm dual mesh. Good for 65 to 95 watts. Nice wicking slots there. Look at that mesh inside. Wow, it would have been nice if they put another two over there and made a quad, right? That would have been kind of cool. Hopefully that's coming in the future. But not a bad looking coil. On the bottom of the box, we have some contents as well. Let's see what we have here. We have some silica gel. We have some spare O-rings as well as a 510 drip tip adapter. No spare gasket for the top cap. They're going to get a con for that. And here we have a Hugs Vape Magician Owner's Manual. They always do a decent job on their owner's manual as far as pictures go. All right. And that's it. Let's check out the tank. Like I said, got that Valerian type of drip tip. I think it was UL that did that with the Valerian, right? With that little, little coloring on the bottom. Kind of neat. I like that. Goon style drip tip, but you also get a 510 drip tip adapter. Fits nice and snug. There's your mark right there. This is a flip-top toilet seat type of tank. I like it. I'm not too crazy about these flip-tops, but I like them better than the sliders with no lock. Because this thing does click in kind of nicely. It takes some force to get it open, so I definitely like that. There are your juice fill ports right here. Here is your gasket. I don't remember seeing a spare gasket. They definitely should have included one. If they didn't, I'll go back to the packaging and check. Got some Hugs Vape branding over there. All right, this is the straight glass installed. That's the way it comes installed. You got some knurling on the bottom AFC right here. AFC is real smooth. Dual AFC, dual, dual airflow, bottom airflow. Whatever you adjust on one side happens on the other side. On the bottom of the... Atomizer, we have some Hugs Vape branding, a serial number, HugsVape.com, Magician, gold-plated 510 connection, insulator ring, stainless steel threading. Let me show you the coil that comes pre-installed, and then we'll swap out the glass as well. Pretty big coil, man. Check that out. That's the triple mesh coil, right? Kind of has like that honeycomb mesh thing going on. Nice job on that. 0.13 ohms, good for 85 to 115 watts. Plenty of cotton in there. I like this coil, man. I've been vaping on this one for a while now, about 10 days. They sent a couple of spares. This is the new one that's in the kit, but I've been vaping on it about 10 days. No significant loss of flavor or vapor production. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to switch it 
for the dual coil because I have not vaped on that one yet and we'll juice it up together and we'll vape on it together but before we do that let me pop this straight glass off put that o-ring back in place where it belongs let's take this bubble glass let's slap it on there all right and let's prime this coil up juice I'm gonna be using today is the crumble apple crumble barrel aged apple crumble really really great fall vape in order to prime this coil you want to take your dripper and just drip a couple of drops down there man don't go crazy because we're gonna let it sit for a little bit all right but just get some juice in there then get some juice on the sides there where those wicking ports are right you want to turn it around just paint it up a little bit same thing over there once you're done with all that you take your coil you put it back together just like that make sure you tighten it down nice and snug all right close that airflow off locate your mark pop that bad boy open and now it's just time to add juice after it's nice and filled clamp that thing down snap it shut install your drip tip and man we're ready to throw this thing on a mod and vape and I'll tell you what I can't wait to vape some of that crumble that barrel aged apple crumble is awesome. Let's put it on a mod. Let's vape on it. Let's talk about it. Cons, pros, and then we're out of here as usual. I'll see you back on top. All right, everyone. We're back on top with the Hugs Vape Magician Sub Ohm Tank. Got it on top of my Squid Industries, Old Faithful, my Champagne Double Barrel. I got it at 98 watts. I got the .15 ohm coil in there. And I tell you what, man, flavor's real good. Cloud's really good. The flavor's better on the triple mesh, and you, you would expect that, right? Definitely better on the triple mesh. But the, the double mesh, it's no slouch, all right? Both coils have excellent flavor with really nice clouds. I love the bubble glass on this. I hate the straight glass. Wish they would have given me a second bubble glass, all right? I got no use for straight glasses if there's a bubble glass involved. I say it on all my videos, all right? The 3 ml mode with mesh coils, that straight glass, basically useless, man. You're just going to plow through juice. You're going to be filling that tank all day. I highly recommend as soon as you get this tank, slap that bubble glass on and hugs vape. I highly recommend that you scratch that straight glass and give two bubble glasses all right nobody wants a straight glass when there's a bubble glass involved that's my opinion at least all right i like that nice flip top cap that stays put that's kind of cool that whole toilet seat thing they got going on i'm digging it because it kind of locks in there nice good move on that i like it better than sliders with no lock on it that's for sure okay this thing's available in gunmetal black stainless steel gold and blue you saw the stainless steel one down low, all right? Really, I don't have a lot to complain about on this when it comes to cons. My biggest con on this thing is the fact that the straight glass is pretty useless at 3 mLs. You just There's going to be no need for it because you're going to be filling it up all the time. That's my only con on it. Everything else is pros. I really can't say anything bad about this thing. It's, I love the looks. I think it's a classy-looking tank, right? I kind of like that Valerian... Right? Didn't Valerian do that? The UL Valerian do that with the with the metal on the bottom of the drip tip, the different color. I like that little bit of red in there. I'm kind of digging that, so I really like the looks of it. Okay? Bottom airflow, very smooth airflow. We're going to give them a pro for that. It's got great flavor and clouds. That's a pro. I like that secure top cap. We went over that already. Pro. It's well machined. Pro. It's a comfortable drip tip on there. That's goon style. So your, all your other goons will fit if this is not your jam. All right. It's got two mesh coils included. That's a pro. The coils are rated accurately. We're going to give them a pro for that. And the coils do have some great longevity to them. I've been getting a minimum of 10 days out of each coil. And when I tell you I'm vaping the hell out of this thing, 
I'm vaping the hell out of it. Trust me, in 10 days, I put a lot of juice through those coils. So take it from me. The longevity on these things is pretty nice. I, I would rank it right up there. It's a hair below the Horizon Tech Falcon mesh coils and the Freemax Fire Luke Mesh Pro. I don't know. They got so many Fire Lukes. I'm pretty sure the latest one that came out, right? The one with the slider cap that looks like the OG Fire Luke, right? That one. It's, it's a hair below those two tanks. And in my opinion, those are the two best sub ohm tanks on the market right now. So to say that it's a hair below that, I'm really giving it some high praise. I would say it's definitely a top five sub ohm tank. And it's what I've come to expect from Hugs Vape because they've been quietly knocking it out of the park with a lot of their stuff, man. They've come out with a real with some really nice RTAs and RDAs. So I was really excited when they decided to dip their toe into the sub ohm tank pool. All right. Definitely check it out. Google it. Hugs Vape magician sub ohm tank you'll probably get a bunch of hits once you google it check us out at our forum vapinginsider.com forward slash forum you know that's where i'm at 24 7 full throttle i would love to hear from you over there and hey man if you found this video helpful you know what time it is do us a favor give us that thumbs up smash that sub button hit that notification button so you know every time we drop a new review we're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.